about the company, how y'all started, and how the whole concept of the company started? Um, actually, it started with, I had a, a furniture shop. I was building furniture, really small, doing a few little gift items along the way, and we started kind of finding things that we wanted to sell. Vintage pieces, and we started a website because when I owned a stationery company during the winter months, it slowed down. So we wanted to have a retail side where we would sell the things that he built and vintage pieces that I was finding. And then when uh, the show happened, we couldn't dedicate our time to it anymore. Yeah. So we partnered with our four best friends. So it's the six of us now. And they, like together, we all run this company, but we only sell American made goods. We only make American made pieces. Um, we, we design only, and manufacture everything in the U.S. So we only partner and license and work with American manufacturing companies. Yes, because our show is about small town revitalization, and that's what we've dedicated our lives to—is revitalizing our small town. And you can't revitalize small town America if there is no industry in small town America. So that's um, that's kind of why we're here. So describe the furniture that you are building, and how even at Vaughn Bassett, how that really molds together with what you have. So the the Vaughn Vaughn Bassett, LM Co. Home, Aaron and Ben Napier partnership was, it's a pretty good story. We, I was building furniture and it was a natural fit that once our show started taking off and it was becoming a hit. We then, got an offer from an overseas manufacturer. Yeah. And our agent really wanted us to take the offer, but one of that company's big selling points was they were one of the first companies to go overseas. And we have, you know, we've staked our flag out that we're going to be for American manufacturing. And so even though it was a really incredible offer, it was really easy for us to say no to that. And I asked our agent to reach out to Von Bassett. And it's a company that I've been a fan of since I was in high school. School. and he lived up here yeah I went to high school kid. near here and so we would go up in the mountains and so I kind of kept up with the furniture industry and what had happened there and what the Bassett's had done at Vaughn Bassett and so when this came up he basically said that that would never work that the Vaughn Bassett Napier partnership wouldn't be a thing and so we said you're fired and I picked up the phone and <laughs> he called them <laughs> googled Vaughn Bassett dialed the first number Sheila who's at the front desk answered and she put me through to Doug and Doug had no idea who I was and and he uh, he it was really funny because I you know I went I was like hey you I'm Ben Napier from HGTV's hometown and he was like I'm sorry I don't watch HGTV so that didn't go well, so but a year, a year later. Yeah, I courted him for a year, and a year later he called me on the morning that our daughter was born. He called me, I was in the delivery room, <laughs> and I didn't answer. You had to call him back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an incredible fit. One, because I do, I mean, week in and week out, I build custom furniture on a nationally successful TV yeah, show. Yeah, what Ben does is just like the micro picture of what Von Bassett does. It's 600 Ben's building these things. Yeah, so the, the, Virginia. the way we design the furniture, it's really cool because I take things that we do in our shop and I say, can we do this? And then the, the Bassett say, well, this is the version that we can do. And then we say, well, can we tweak this? And then we, so we, there's a lot of back and forth in the design and we come up with something that is um, visually pleasing, but also can be produced on a mass scale by these 600 craftspeople in Virginia. How is it to work as a couple together in a company? We fit together perfectly. We've just never done it any other, we've only ever worked together. Yeah. So we don't actually know we, how to not work together. What did you say the other day? We stand in the gaps for we, each other. We fill each other's gaps. Yeah. And so... Um, Where I am terrible with numbers, numbers and accounting and business. And people. And <laughs> he's a people person and I'm a little more shy and... But we're both very creative, and in that way, we're really strong together. Well, and we we respect each other's 
um, lanes. And so if, you know, if something is more in Aaron's wheelhouse, I won't step in unless she asks me to. If something is more in my wheelhouse, she won't step in unless I ask her to, which we do a lot. We we yeah. value each other's opinions a lot, but yeah, it's we fit together perfectly and so working together, you know, I would much rather work with her than, you know, yeah. even my business partners who I love. <laughs> um, but yeah. We have, we communicate constantly, so yeah. it's easier to always be on the same page. Yeah, we're we're never surprised by anything because we we talk way too much. <laughs> when a consumer is looking to get kind of your aesthetic, because there is an aesthetic to what you do in their home, where do you suggest they start? Um, it, you can't do it with all new pieces. It takes maybe a, a new bed from Von Bassett, but put your grandma's old handmade quilt on it. You know, it's it's a mix yeah. of the old and the new, and always personal. Very collected. Curated, collected, layered. Um, one of the things that I don't think that the Bassets would be upset at me for saying this, but they're they're as far as like furniture design goes, they're pretty conservative, and they've allowed us to get really creative. Like in the first set, we had a, a bright blue accent piece, and when we it was not bright. Yeah, for them it, it was, was bright. It was bright for Von Bassett. It was man. bright for Von Bassett. And when we suggested that, they were like, ooh, I don't know. You know, maybe as an accent, people, we'll do this one thing. Well, then, and then people really liked that one thing. So, so it did. felt like we were learning how to take our two visions and, and make them work together. But talking about that aesthetic, we like to mix things up. And we know that's not the norm for people. You know, some people like to buy, for, that's not how furniture sells. It normally sells in it's like a, a suit. suite, yeah, suit. And so we, uh, through this partnership, we've been able to create those matching sets that aren't too matchy-matchy. <laughs> Ben, how do you keep fresh with your designs? Because in, as you're doing custom work, there's always something else that needs to be done. So how do you keep fresh with your designs uh, and your looks? So on the show, we're filming right now, and I currently am working on nine custom furniture pieces that will have to be finished in the next seven weeks. Um, and it's because HGTV is a national, you know, they're a big big brand, they want these pieces, they don't oh, want me to build- International brand. International brand. They don't want me to build the same thing over and, and over and over. You don't build what you like. We're building for people. Right. And when you make or it for personal, a specific house. Yeah, a specific house or a specific family. Sometimes the house tells me, or the homeowners tell me what they need in a way some way or another. But a lot of times it's totally up to me and my shop to figure out what we're going to do. And um, honestly, the way I keep it fresh is by not keeping it fresh. I tend to borrow from historic design a lot. Yeah. Um, because there's, there's a, nothing new under the sun, yeah. but historic design is always an inspiration. I don't really try to do anything new. I try to look back at history and figure out a way to make that piece of furniture fit. Apply to the house or to and the its homeowner. time period and the homeowners, yeah. yeah. Can y'all tell us something that maybe you haven't ex said on TV about, Ooh, um, you, you know, just a little um, about um, your favorite foods, your favorite travel places, your secret um, nights that you like to sit in and watch Gomer Pyle, I don't care. <laughs> um, What's your favorite TV show? Oh, favorite TV show? The Sopranos, but... Wow. Yeah, right wow. now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We get that response well, a lot. Yeah, but it's just the best writing I've ever seen in a TV show. Um, I don't know. We like lots... Every night we watch one episode of something on something TV we before we go to sleep. TV, How about your favorite music? What song do y'all like to dance to? My favorite music? Chris oh, Stapleton. Yeah, I guess. Um, um, we like lots of music. Yeah, we like lots of music. Right now, Helen, our daughter, is obsessed with Dolly Parton and Elvis, so that's pretty much all we're listening to. Yeah, a lot of Dolly Parton, and she is obsessed with Tommy Boy, <laughs> um, which is very, if you dig deep and you watch Tommy Boy, it's very fitting with what we do. He saves a small, his, town. A small town with his company. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty good. It's pretty good.